Welcome to our fifth lesson, Setting a Document Up in CMYK Mode, brought to you by PrintWand. Our last section discussed achieving a multicolor look in a one-color document, but here what we'll be getting into is ensuring that our document is set up to be in CMYK mode. This is especially useful when our intent is a job set up for four-color process. It's not so necessary when we're using PMS or Pantone colors, but it's still a best practice. Let's start by going up to File, and then go down to Document Color Mode. And here we can see that we have CMYK selected already. Now CMYK refers to cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. These are the four colors that make up the printing process. Below that we see RGB, which is red, green, and blue. Now this is mostly used for web artwork or video, but not for print. So let's go up here to our menu bar. We're going to go over to Window, and then we're going to head down to Swatches, and we'll open up our Swatches palette. So if we notice this button at the upper right hand corner of the swatches palette, let's go ahead and select that. And we're gonna move down to where it says large list view and we'll select that. Let's grab the bottom corner of our palette so we can see more of the colors that we have here. So let's go back over to file. We're gonna head down to document color mode. Go ahead and select RGB. And as we're doing that, let's keep an eye on the swatches palette. So notice how this symbol next to our color name in the swatch palette changed, and it refers to the RGB color that's now been selected. Let's head back up to File, down to Document Color Mode, and we'll switch that back to CMYK. We can see how the symbol has returned to what it looked like before. Notice too that the symbol next to the Pantone color stayed the same throughout the whole process. Again. Color mode isn't something that we have to worry too much about with PMS or Pantone colors. So this is just one more area to be aware of as we're setting up our documents. This is gonna help our printers save time. And remember too, another habit to be getting into would be to always try to send original files, in this case, Illustrator. It makes it much easier if changes need to be made at any point in the process because they have everything that they need. So this concludes our lesson on setting up a document in CMYK mode. Next up, we're going to be covering using document templates. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. Make sure to check back off into PrintWand for more video lessons as well as other articles to help you with your marketing and promotional needs.